So we look at two methods to solve this inequality proof and we can also call these abstract inequalities. Okay, so method one, what we are going to do is with the second bracket, we are going to find a common denominator. So we have x plus y in the first bracket and then in the second bracket, I'm gonna get a common denominator of x, y. Um, x into x, y goes y times multiplied by one and we have y plus y into x, y goes x times multiplied by one, we get x. Close the bracket and we're gonna say that this is greater than or equal to four. Now, because I'm told that x and y are natural numbers, I know that they're positive, and because each of them is positive, um, the product of x and y is also positive, and so I can multiply both sides of this inequality by x, y, and I don't have to worry about changing the direction of the inequality. So had I multiplied both sides by x, y, and had that been a negative number, well, then I would have had to change the direction of the inequality. So because I know x and y are natural numbers, and the product of two natural numbers is also a natural number. I don't have to change the sign of the inequality. So I can see that x plus y on x plus y is x plus y all to be squared, and that's greater than or equal to 4xy. Squaring out this bracket, we have square the first, x squared is obviously just x squared, y squared is y squared, and then twice the product. So x by y is xy, and then multiply it by 2 to give 2xy. And this is greater than or equal to 4xy. I'm going to subtract a 4xy from both sides and I get x squared plus 2xy minus 4xy plus y squared is greater than or equal to 0. I get x squared minus 2xy plus y squared is greater than or equal to 0. I'll then factorize the expression on the left hand side by opening up two sets of brackets I have an x and an x, a y and a y. Now I need the sum of the product of the inner two, x, y, and the product of the outer two, x, y, to give me minus two x, y, so I'm gonna to have to have a minus in both brackets. And x minus y on x minus y is x minus y squared, x minus y squared, and we know that this is greater than or equal to zero. So anything, squared must be greater than or equal to zero. And that's what we're trying to do with these inequality proofs. We're trying to collect all of the terms on the left-hand side and show that the left-hand side must be greater than or equal to zero. So let's have a look at the second method. We are going to multiply out the brackets. So we have x times one over x is x over x, which is one. We have x times one over y, which is x over y. We have y times 1 over x, which is y over x. And then we have y times 1 over y, which is y over y, which is 1. I'm going to say that this is greater than or equal to 4. So I'm going to collect all of the terms on the left. So I have x over y plus y over x. 1 and 1 is 2. And then I'm going to subtract a 4 from both sides. And that's going to be greater than or equal to 0. So x over y plus y over x minus two is greater than or equal to zero. Uh, once again, because I know x and y are natural numbers, they're positive, I'm gonna multiply both sides by x, y. And if I multiply the left-hand side by x, y, I'm gonna multiply x, y by x over y, which gives me x squared. I'm gonna multiply y over x by x, y, which gives me y squared. And then if I multiply minus two by x, y, that obviously gives me minus two x, y. And obviously on the right hand side, if I multiply zero by x, y, I just still have zero. So we can see that we have the same expression that we had on the left hand side here. So I'm gonna factorize that. It's x minus y on x minus y. And once again, x minus y, all to be squared, must be greater than or equal to zero. So it's important to include the equal zero because x and y could be the same number. And if x and y are the same number, well, um, the same number subtracted from itself squared is gonna be zero and zero obviously is greater than or equal to zero also.